Crystal Bob. I raced uh, race two in the past. I'm racing 43. This is the T6 class. Uh, these are generally stock T6s used in World War II and they're still surviving today. The way we run them, you're actually, uh, for you guys coming on, the main fuel is going to be 100 low lead. We have the uh, two tanks. So we've got the, if you just essentially plan on inboard of this strap, up to the fuselage is going to be a wing tank. Some have extended tanks past here, but it won't make any difference for you guys. So just remember, this area from fuselage to the uh, wing band is going to be your tank. Same thing on the other side. Typically during race time, uh, we have to run a minimum of 50 gallons. 50 gallons can be split on either side, so it's, it's only going to vary by the pilot and how he wants it set up for weight. Uh, as we come around the engine, the uh, Pratt & Whitney radial 1340. So if we were to have an engine fire uh, on startup would be different than uh, an, engine, an engine fire in the air or, and coming down, it doesn't really matter how you put it out. Put it out where the, the, uh, the flames are. It would be very unlikely that we would have it up here in the front. Most likely we'd be back in the accessory area, essentially from here to here. So this is an entry into the carburetor and down here is an entry on the bottom. This is into the coil cooler. So potentially you're not going to have a fire up front unless something, uh, a primer line comes off. You probably won't have it up front. If you had to do an emergency extraction on the pilot, the canopy, which this the latch, and it's going to be different on each T6, but the latch essentially, once you get it up and you're just going to push the canopy all the way back, if you needed to cut through this, you're going to have bars and frame in here. So you're potentially going to run into a lot of metal if you had to cut uh, through this area here. Your best way is going to be to punch out the uh, canopy glass here, and it really wouldn't take a whole lot to just pry it off. So if for some reason we ended up upside down, your only option is probably going to be to break out the glass. Uh, and there's just really no other way. Now this hopefully would protect us in a uh, rollover or a nose-over situation when we went on our back. This frame was designed for that. Most of us are going to be wearing a parachute which has totally separate uh, latches compared to the seatbelt itself. So they're, they're totally different and they operate separately. So the seatbelt seatbelt cutter will work just as well. From there, the seat pack is going to be attached to the pilot in his legs. It's just going to be easier to pull. Use the uh, seat pack parachute as a handle to remove the pilot out. If you had to cut it out or just unlatch it, you would use these latches. Put the fuel just to the left here. It's always in the same spot on all T6s to the left of the pilot's leg. That goes into the off position. These, uh, this is the mixture. So this actually cuts the fuel to the carburetor. This is probably the fastest way to get the uh, gas. So it's everything back. Just remember, all of these controls back, and that should kill it. One last, or uh, two more things. You've got the magnetos to the off position. So the airplane can run without electrical is if the magnetos are on. So magnetos to off, as you see right here. Last thing master switches. So they're different on each airplane. Each T6 is going to have it a different thing. Almost 99% of the time, mags are going to be over here. This is always going to be over here, as is the fuel. So when in doubt, fuel off, fuel off, magnetos off, switches off.